entertaining speaker manual. And uh, today he decided to entertain, I think, especially women in this um, place by his speech on the topic the Pina Colada Cosmopolitan at the End of Man. Please welcome Lukas Libi. I'd like to make this one thing clear from the very beginning. This is serious stuff. So how many of you here are convinced that women and men have equal opportunities here in the Czech Republic. How many of you think this? <laughs> not, not, not too many. And you are so right. I found out just this Friday that it's actually not like this. <laughs> I was blind. But I tell you what happened to me. I was standing in a bar, my friend's birthday party, I was tipsy a little bit because I already had one piña colada. <laughs> so I came to the bartender and said, oh, please give me one glass of black currant juice. And she said, we don't have black currant juice, we have cranberry juice. I said, okay. She said, well, but do you want like it without alcohol? I said, I don't know, put some alcohol in it, that's fine. So she put alcohol in it. <laughs> she made some coffee. She said, I will make something very special for you, for you, mister. So she gave it to me. And the glass, it looked very cool, so I was standing at the bar, feeling cool, looking cool, and then just a group of my friends walked around me and they burst into laughter. What's wrong? They say like, so you watch Sex in the City a lot, huh? So it's not just cosmopolitan, it's what Carrie Bradshaw was drinking. And what the hell, right? I can drink whatever I want. My friends, I'd like to tell you this thing. I found out and I realized I've been blind to this. Our society is broken and it doesn't give men equal opportunities <laughs> as it gives women. When I was a small child, I remember now, my parents wouldn't allow me to have a doll as a, as a toy. Sometimes, <laughs> luckily, I have a sister. You've seen her maybe a couple of times here. So once I was able you know, to take her, her Ken doll, it's like Barbie's boyfriend for those of you who don't know. And I was allowed to play only with Ninja Turtles, but to show my aggression, I took the Ken's leg and like tried to mahashigere, which is like arch kick from karate. And uh, what it finished with was Ken's leg in my right hand and the rest of the Ken in my left. My sister was not very happy, but you know, at least I was able to express myself. But it's not just childhood, right? It's also when many of you grown up. Peter over there, my friend from Accenture, he knows. In some project, because all the managers are men in management consulting, <laughs> so just all of us young, fierce guys fighting, you know, for like eager to get on some new jobs. We're, so it's bit so difficult for us to get in because the managers say, okay, so let's just you know take some girls on the team to refresh on this a little bit. <laughs> Again, this is not only this. This that's even more. Just imagine. Just imagine this, like. I have a couple of friends, they're really handsome, they're really into a healthy lifestyle, so, and they're not into this career thing. What they just love to do is to find some woman to, like, you know, a little bit rich, maybe career oriented, so that you can stay at home, go into the gym, look handsome, be pretty, or have a nice, relaxed life. I'll tell you what, it's not so easy to find such a woman. And the worst of all, once they find her, they are disrespected by their friends, and they're called toy boys, and things like this. Our society is broken, my friends, and we need to do something about it. There will be opposition, and there is opposition. Who's the one who, who is happy with the status quo? The women, the, the lazy women, and most of all, the women who write articles for magazines for women. And these, they try you know, to insert into men's minds this idea that they should be something, something like manly. They should sting and stuff, you know, so that, so that things already, they can, they can keep, they can stay this way. So they write articles like manhood test. I read over this weekend. <laughs> how, how, how did I go? Huh? So what do you think? So, so, the, so the first question, I think the statement was, you will know that your man is not man enough if First, he knows his hairdresser by name. <laughs> Come on, like Peppa is he's like my friend. <laughs> 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 Second, he asks 
for ingredients when he asks for a meal in a restaurant. But, so what if I'm trying you know, to be a vegetarian? I need to ask, right? Third, he's vegetarian. <laughs> The fourth one says me. He has no tools at home. I hate tools. I never use tools. But thanks God, with my, my mother-in-law doesn't know. So for every Christmas, I'm getting screwdriver, driller, all the axe, chainsaw. So all these things are in my home. So I'm a one-quarter manly. <laughs> Luckily, we have strong leaders who just want to relieve men of all this pressure, we want to put some more women into a leadership position so we can relax, we men can relax a bit. Thinking about Hillary Clinton, Sheryl Sandberg, Robert Rosenberg, these guys are, <laughs> are pushing for equality. <laughs> Sheryl Sandberg, I think she's doing a really nice thing, but she's not marketing it that well. She says, today women have the best chances to get into their careers. They have the best opportunities. But the real message, what she wants to say is, men have the best chances to have a nice life. After millions of years dying, killing mammoths and uh, all large animals, after myelinia, fighting wars and breaking our backs, work in the field, after hundreds of years working in factories from morning to evening, and after decades, getting heart attacks, trying to climb a corporate ladder, finally, we have the chance to do what we like doing the most, and that is n nothing. <laughs> Just relax, sit back home, drink beer, play computer games. <laughs> my friends, with all my heart, I hope very soon the time will come when there will be more women in top management, more women in middle management, more women professionals, more women top politicians, I hope that our wives and girlfriends will be earning more than we are. Multiple, two times more, three times more, five times more. And I hope that the day when this comes true, I will be able to come to a bar and drink my pina colada. <laughs>